So with the overturning of Roe versus Wade, the public is pretty outraged by it. The numbers are uh, very clear. People are against the overturning of it. Well, now we got this. More than 700,000 signed petition calling for Clarence Thomas to be impeached. Now, by the way, this is all the way back on the first that this came out. It's now the fourth as of the recording of, of this segment that you're seeing here. So my guess is it's got to be at least 800,000 now, maybe around a million, but 700,000 say he should be impeached. So let's see what they say. More than 700,000 people have signed a petition calling for Justice Clarence Thomas to be impeached following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. The petition made by the liberal advocacy group Move On was created after the Supreme Court overturned Roe in its Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization. And while controversy swirls around his wife, Ginny Thomas's political activism, it has more than 786,000 signatures as of Friday evening. The petition noted that Thomas was among the majority of justices who ruled that there was not a constitutional right to an abortion and alluded to his concurring opinion in that case, in which he suggested the Supreme Court should revisit cases that established the right to contraceptive access and same-sex marriage. The petition also blasted Thomas for not recusing himself in cases relating to the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot after news reports surfaced that Ginny Thomas had reached out to the Arizona state lawmakers urging them to reject the 2020 election results and had contacted former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows over rejecting the last election's outcome. Thomas's failure to recuse himself warrants immediate investigation and heightened alarm, and it's, and it's only the latest in a long history of conflicts of interest in the service of a right-wing agenda and mixing his powerful role with his conservative political activism. A statement on the petition page reads, He has shown he cannot be an impartial justice and is more concerned with covering up his wife's coup attempts than the health of the Supreme Court. He must resign or Congress must immediately investigate and impeach. Some lawmakers, including AOC, have said the Supreme Court justices should be impeached if they were misleading on their answers on Roe v. Wade during their confirmation hearings. If we allow Supreme Court nominees to lie under oath and secure lifetime appointments, the highest court of the land, and then issue, without basis if you read these opinions, rulings that deeply undermine the human civil rights of the majority of Americans, we must see that through, Ocasio-Cortez said on NBC's Meet the Press last last month. Yeah, I mean, some of them uh, either committed perjury or were very close to committing perjury, effectively lied about their stance on Roe versus Wade. Look, in the case of Clarence Thomas, it really is astonishing because, I don't know how many of you know this, there is no code of ethics uh, on, there's no code of ethics for the Supreme Court. It's all like the honor system. And so they could have, you know, financial incentives in one direction and then vote in accordance with that. They could have spouses who are deeply intertwined with activism and then not recuse themselves from things related to that. And um, nobody bats an eyelash. Nobody cares. Nobody talks about it. And that's absurd. I mean, we're talking about one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, um, group of people in the country. I mean, these are unelected elites who have veto power over the democratic will of the government, nominally or otherwise. And we see what they're capable of doing here. And for them to have no code of ethics, for them to have various conflicts of interest, for them to make preposterous legal arguments, for them to admit, hey, I want to roll the clock back when it comes to almost all these rights, except interracial marriage, because I'm in one. Uh, unacceptable. Unacceptable. He should be impeached. He should be tried or whoever committed perjury should be tried on on perjury. And um, you got to take a stand. If you don't take a stand now, then uh, the institutionalists, the people who support the norms and civility, they are aiding and abetting authoritarianism. So they're not actually institutionalists. If you care so much about the institutions and you believe so much in the institutions that when the right goes full authoritarian, you say, oh, that's cool. Let me watch you do it and sit idly by. No, because then you're emboldening the authoritarianism. So you agree with the right-wing authoritarianism. Can't do it. And that's what Biden's doing. And it's time. There's a million things that can be done. Something should be done. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.